The minister and the president, Simon de Gungobele, will be visiting uh, Buchusbay on the Namakwalen coast in the Northern Cape to kickstart the Green Hydrogen Project. The site visit in Port Noloth will serve as an important interaction between government and SASOL to implement the Memorandum of Agreement as signed and announced at the Sustainable Infrastructure Development Symposium South Africa. During the symposium held in October 2021, green hydrogen was identified as a big frontier that represents both future and current growth and investment opportunities for South Africa. Globally, the demand for green hydrogen and green hydrogen-based products such as ammonia and synthetic jet fuels is rising. Ulrich Hendricks uh, is uh, live uh, for us now from Buchberg uh, with the minister. A very good morning, uh, Ulrich. Hi, good morning, Des, and welcome to Buchberg. Of course, this is a spectacular site. It's, a, it's a, an area rich in spectacular views, but also rich in, in time. And as we now know, also rich in green hydro gas. But let's talk to the minister. Uh, minister, um, you're kick-starting this hydro, green hydrogen project here today. Um, what are we uh, seeing? How, how, how much is it and, and, and how long is the lifespan going to be? This is a, a historic journey in South Africa in terms of adjusting to the imperatives of climate change to ensure that in so adjusting, we don't leave our people behind. We invest in a just manner. One, become relevant in a manner that ensures that the hydrogen that we produce is green and is hydrogen that can be used by the world. And we are taking advantage of uh, the renewal space that we have here in the, in the, in the Northern Cape and the winds and the offshore and the onshore winds and all that uh, natural endowment is being actually optimized to reposition this province, reposition South Africa in energy provision, both for export and use in South Africa, being a huge initiative in decarbonization, at the same time ensuring that we actually improve our trajectory in terms of the GDP. One of the greatest things about this is that this is done in partnership with the province of the Northern Cape, which we believe, if everything goes according to plan, it will not only turn the fortunes of this province, it will also turn the fortunes of the country. It will actually change our image globally. That involves Sasolbeck, which is an anchor of what we refer to as an SEZ. Sasolbeck is anchoring this to make sure that this area is an area where a huge installation of plants which are going to be used to ensure that solar energy is actually generated to make sure that hydro green hydrogen is produced at a higher scale. And um, of course you're saying about uh, this area and its people benefiting. Um, how are we going to make sure about, uh, that that happens? We've seen in the past diamonds being exported, so not really... Uh, it, apart from a little job here and there, that they're not really benefiting. Here, I've been advised that no less than 10 billion capital, in, capital investment, which immediately looks at the outcome of about 6,000 jobs. Naturally, you expect a huge multiplier effects, which will also translate to a number of other jobs, which I'm not in a position to speak about now. But that 6,000 to me is just a starter. And then, of course, there's also, uh, it is one of the, the presidential um, Not a great connection there. We'll try to go back uh, to Ulrich just to find out uh, about the further details on that project. But on to the story.